What's going on everybody? David here from Blukers Videos and Collectibles and today I got a brand new video for y'all and this time I will be showing or showcasing my toy haul that I uh, had picked up uh, a few days ago and it's basically through trades that I made with my good friend Justin Cronk who lives in, in the same area I do or same town should I say in Denton, Texas. So uh, very nice to be able to get to know and meet up with a fellow collector that has collects pretty much the same stuff that I do, has the same interest as well. So um, very cool, and uh, we talk on a regular basis. So, and um, we, this is our second time meeting, and um, we had been this has this trade has been in the works for a while, and so we had uh, met him probably about a month and a half ago or so. It was a few weeks ago, um, so. Um, Real cool dude, real stand-up guy, knows what he wants in his collection, and you know, and um, showed him a few things here and there when it comes to collecting and how to go about doing certain things, and so I guess he's trying to follow suit with what I've taught him and stuff, so, um, but anyways, so we have been trying to meet up um, to do this trade, and finally we was able to get a, a free time to, to do that, so... Uh, we met up at our local movie trading company, <coughs> excuse me, here in town, and the funny thing is, we was outside in the freezing cold, uh, windy as hell, for about a good half hour, probably longer, just wheeling and dealing, you know, and uh, <laughs> it's pretty funny, freezing our asses off, you know, making trades <laughs> in the parking lot, <laughs> uh, hey, it is what it is, so... Um, so, as most of y'all know, you know, movie trading companies pretty much our, our, our spot that we go to. Well, mainly for me because that's just like probably like that's the only probably store that I usually get all my vintage stuff. Um, I don't really get out uh, out of the area to go hunt as far as other areas for vintage stuff. I need to, and that's one of my goals this year is to um, do that more often, you know, <clears throat> because uh, he goes there a lot. He tells me about a lot of stuff, and plus, you know, Watching uh, uh, NARC, not another retro channel's uh, uh, YouTube channel. You know, they they all, he, excuse me, <laughs> he lives in the same area as I do, not too far from Denton. So uh, he goes there a lot, so watching his stuff, you know, he'd be finding a lot of good, good, no, good stuff, yes. I say. <laughs> and um, so I, I'm looking to, to do that more often. And plus, you know, these stores that they go to, they're not that far, really, if you really think about it, you know, as far as, you know, location goes, so it's not that, you know, there's no reason why I can't do it, you know. But anyways, um, yeah, so we uh, made some good trades, you know, very excited, very happy with what I got, and I know he's pleased with what he has, and so um, thank you, Justin, for being able to meet up with me to, to um, do these trades. I'm looking forward to maybe picking up some more stuff from you later on down the line if you still have them if you hadn't traded them away already but uh anyways so he gave me a couple of things that wasn't a part of the trade that were like a birthday gift to me an early birthday gift that is but um the first thing that i wanted to show you is this guy this is the uh, uh toy biz juggernaut and this is part of the uh first series that they put out and uh, I'm very happy to have this because I've been looking for this guy. Incomplete, but that's okay. But this is one that he's had since he was a kid. So, of course, you know, when you're a kid, you have a lot of accessories that, you know, you usually don't keep up with. <laughs> but it's all good, though. Uh, very happy to have this to my collection because, as y'all know, I don't do Marvel Legends unless if it's Toy Biz. And um, I'm a Toy Biz guy. I'm sorry. I just, I, I just don't do the Hasbro Legends, you know. Um, it's just the way it way it goes, you know. <laughs> but um, this is like the only main line that I really collect as far as uh, Legends goes, uh, or excuse me, Marvel and uh, I don't even know what I'm saying. This is like basically the only line that I really collect when it comes to uh, comic book characters, you know, Toy Biz, because I love the vintage style uh, figures, you know, and plus, you know, I love the uh, style of the Toy Biz Legends, you know. Granted, some of them. Do need an upgrade, but most of them don't. In my, in my opinion, but hey, I'm a vintage guy. What can I say? 
So, but anyway, so very happy to have this guy in my collection. So I think I'm almost done with series one. I think I uh, need maybe maybe one or two more. I'm not completely sure. But anyway, so let's go ahead and move Juggernaut out the way. And then the next thing I got that wasn't part of the trade um, that he hooked me up with is this uh, Bumblebee. I think he said it was a, a Studio Series 1. I'm not sure. Yeah, he's missing a piece, but hey, it is what it is, you know. It was given, it was gifted to me, so hey, I like it the way it is. And um, I don't know how to do these transformations when it comes to that, so I'm not going to do all that. <laughs> it's just going to go on my shelf just like that. So, but I'm um, very happy to have this in my collection. So now I can, uh, I'm happy to say that I got four Transformers in my collection now. Four of them. Yes, I'm getting there. <laughs> but when it comes to Transformers, um, I was just going to stick with the uh, G1s, the originals. You know, I don't want all of them. It'd be nice to have all of them. But there's only a few that I really want to have in my collection that I think that would be a good additions. You know, just like mainly the Dinobots, uh, the Insecticons. And um, uh, probably Optimus and Megatron, you know, just the little the core guys, you know. <clears throat> and if I can get the whole G1 series, that'd be awesome. If not, I'm not going to trip if I don't have that complete collection. I just want the, just the core players, like the main players. That's pretty much it. But that's going to take some time. It might take a while. <laughs> But anyways, um, all right then. So let's go ahead and get on with the um, the actual trade. Okay, so first up is um, Hinch Rat, and this is from the Earthworm Gem toy line by Playmates. Um, really like this guy. I don't have anything from Earthworm Gem, and plus it's Playmates. So Hinch Rat would go great in scale with uh, the Ninja Turtles and... Uh, uh, the Dick Tracy line, you know, because Playmates in the 90s, they pretty much, all their characters, whether it was Ninja Turtles, Dick Tracy, uh, Star Trek, Earthborn Jim, um, and a, a ton of other um, lines that they produced in the 90s, uh, they pretty much go all in scale with each other, including um, Toxic Crusaders, you know, and all that stuff. So very excited to have this. Um, he's not complete. He comes with his knife, and plus he's missing like a, like a couple more accessories. But I'll eventually pick this up along the way. So uh, yeah, Hinch Rat from the Earthworm Jim. <laughs> Hinch Rat from the Earthworm Jim toy line, and um, uh, there's only like six or eight of them, I think. I think there's there's like three Earthworm Jims. And then the rest of them are like different other characters. So um, this line should not be very hard to complete. And you could probably complete this line easily, you know. And then unless if you come with all the vehicles and stuff and such. All right, so let's go on to the next thing. All right, next up I got um, a set of uh, Men in Black toys uh, from the figures from the movie Men in Black, should I say. And these were produced by Gloob back in 97. So, I don't have any Men in Black figures, and I love that movie, and um, one of my favorites as a teenager, and so um, I finally get to add a few into my collection. Uh, I would like to go for the complete toy line, if I can, so um, that, that, it's just because I, I really love Gloob. Gloob is one of my favorites uh, growing up as far as uh, toy lines go. Very underrated, in my opinion. They're probably not as well known as uh, stuff like Kenner, and you don't. People don't always talk about Gloob as like they would Kenner and Playmates and Hasbro and Mattel and so forth. But uh, back then, I think Gloob did a great job with their toy lines that they did at the time. And here's the Men in Black was uh, no exception. So, um, <clears throat> so right here, I do have uh, Edgar, the uh, the evil alien, the, the the main bad guy, should I say. And uh, he doesn't stand so well, so that's why I'm holding him. But I did order some uh, action figure stands, so I will be using one of those stands to, so Edgar could have something to stand up on. Uh, but it is what it is. I wanted him in my collection, so I got him. And also he comes with uh, K right here. And uh, put him in his belly like that. So he is complete. And then I got Mikey. I got two of them. Here's a Bendy of Mikey, and here's Mikey with an exploding head. 
So you'll press this button and the head explodes off. And then also I added this guy here. Uh, I can't remember his name or its name. Uh, Red, 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 I don't know. <laughs> I'm pretty sure somebody will remember its name. Uh, I know it's Red something. <clears throat> but um, uh, this thing is bendy as well. So that's why it's kind of leaning up against uh, Mikey right there. So very happy to have these in my collection. Um, I know that Justin has a few more characters, <clears throat> but I wanted to go ahead and get these guys first. And then if he still has the rest of them, I'll probably get those from him as well. All right, so let's go ahead and get to the final set. And last but not least, uh, what's a trade without having some small soldiers involved in it? Um, this one was was not originally part of the deal, but then it ended up being part of the deal. Uh, simply because um, he had hit me up and said, hey, uh, do you have uh, these two guys? And I said, no, I don't. Um, I'm looking for him. And I thought he was like at a toy store or something, the picture they showed me. He said, look, you know, I'm trying to uh, clear out uh, some things. And I know you love small soldiers. And I know you would appreciate these more than I would. Because you, you really, you really love these toys. And uh, I'm going to offer you a deal for them. So we had discussed it. And originally I was going to um, uh, buy him from him, you know, which I didn't have no problem with. <clears throat> you know, so and then later on he came back to me and said, "Look, I don't, I don't really like selling stuff to uh, my fellow collectors and my friends. You know, I don't, I don't want to do that." And so um, I said, "Don't worry about it. It's okay. I have no, I have no problem with uh, purchasing it." So when we met up, and then that was, this was like the last part of the deal, and I told him, I said, "Well, you know, I'll get you your money at such and such." And he was like, "Don't worry about it. It's part of the trade." Etc. So I was like, are you sure? Because yeah, I don't, I, like I said, he goes, like I said, I don't like charging my friends, you know, for stuff, you know. I was like, all right, cool, you know. So, I mean, I really appreciate that, Justin. Really, really, I, really, I do. And um, so finally I was able to add, punch it, and scratch it. Punch it is this big rhino character. So very happy to have him in my collection. He was like one of my final pieces that I was looking for to complete, um, <clears throat> well, not one of the, well, one of the final pieces, should I say, and, um, I was very happy to have him in my collection, he's missing his two accessories, but that's okay, you know, he looks a massive, I mean, he's a massive figure, very heavy, you know, it's a heavy set figure, you know, so, very large, and then Scratch It, uh, she comes with the, uh, she comes with the, uh, vehicle, and, um, uh, but I, I didn't want the vehicle, I just only wanted her, because uh, vehicles for the for the uh, small soldiers toy line doesn't appeal to me. If I get them, I get them. If I don't, I don't. No biggie. I'm not going to sweat over it. But uh, more than likely, I'll just skip out. There's only two vehicles. I think two or three vehicles. So I, plus they weren't those vehicles weren't in the movies except for like one of them, I think. So I'm, I'm not no hurry to or desire need to to get them. But anyways, that's beside the point. Um, <clears throat> so, very happy to add these two characters um, to to my collection, my small soldiers collection. So, really all I need now is I do need an Ocula. And that's like the Burger King figure because it pretty much goes in scale with the, the, the main toy line. And also I need a, a, a basic archer, you know. I do have an archer, but it's the battle damage archer. So, but uh, I, I really do need the, uh, the the base, the original Archer, you know. So, but he comes and goes, you know. You've got to catch him on a deal on eBay or unless I see him out in the wild. But, uh, but other than that, um, <clears throat> that's all I really need to complete my small soldiers collection. So, but yeah, so that about does it. Well, that's my trade, uh, guys and gals. And, um, <clears throat> excuse me, and I hope you all enjoyed this video as much as I did, uh, making it. And if you're new to the channel, please give this channel a sub. And like the video, comment down below what you think of this trade that I did with Justin. And let me know if you, if you have any of these, uh, characters or toys, or if you collected any of these toys, uh, in the comments down below. And, uh, hit the notification bell so you can see all my uploads. And, wisdom, wisdom.
buy what you love and not what you like. Because if you buy what you like, you will always end up getting, you will always end up getting rid of it. And I will catch y'all later.